Carpenter's Corner is a soup kitchen. We uh, serve today 153 people. Uh, we range anywhere from 100 to 190 clients or folks on, in a day's time. So it is a community effort. There's 15 plus churches that are involved. Oh, when I first heard about this particular award, I thought first thing, I would just love to nominate them because they're so deserving. They have um, gone from almost nothing, no facilities, to a very well-run, um, just a very well-operated organization. We serve on Mondays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. Uh, there's another group that serves on Tuesdays and Sundays. There are so many people in our area who need a helping hand. And uh, we, we notice this, we see a lot of this because we are a downtown church. And it was just our way of giving back. We had a group in town called Jacob's Ladder that closed. When they closed, there was this need. And we were able to take uh, up that need and uh, one of the local churches, First Christian, had this building, which we're in now, available that we could use the first floor to serve people and to take care of God's children. From this ministry, we have branched out and we have um, outreach with uh, one of the uh, shelters in town. Um, it, it has impacted the community very much. I always feel that we need to care for God's people. Uh, there is a desperate need to touch the lives of everyone, to let them know that they're loved and they're cared for, and that they're welcome as they are. More churches are involved and also our people. We served last year over 16,000 people and about over 21,000 meals. We are so grateful that we've been selected to receive this honor and we will uh, honor that gift you're giving us and the award in the community by continuing to serve and to reach out and touch more people. You know, we don't know what all God has involved has in store for us here at uh, Carpenter's Corner. I think that uh, the extra days that we have added in the last recent history and you know there's a possibility of who knows um, all we need to do is stay faithful and as, uh, as my priest said once uh, keep your feet on the path and trust in God and do the things that we're supposed to do and it'll lead you to the things that you were supposed to do a lot of the folks come here not just for food but they need company. They, they need that company that feeds their spirit. They, they need that spiritual care too that we can share with them as, as a, a, the body of Christ.